Microsoft just had their Windows 10 event on October 26th. This video is full of my disappointment from that event. If you want to see what I did like about the event, then check out my other video in the description or up in that little icon in the corner of the video. But for this video, this is what disappointed me from this event. So let's do this in order of beginning of the event to the end. That way I'm not trying to prioritize which content was most disappointing or anything of that nature. From the beginning, they talked about their new Windows 10 Creator update. And while the creator-focused content was great, bringing that 3D and just making content creation easier for everybody, it was, was wonderful and I, I appreciate it. You know, I talked about it in my other video where I talked about the good stuff. I really hope to see more iteration on the anniversary update. I, I said that in, uh, in my, my predictions. I hope they focus on stability for what they currently already have. The Ink workspace on the Windows desktop, for example, seems really half-baked. It's got, you know, it's got some features, but for the most part, it's a glorified screen capture. And the overall stability of the operating system inspires me to save my work often for fear of losing it, which is sad. Now, the Surface Book. They kept the wedge design. That really cool hinge, the, the, when, it, when it articulates open, it actually ends up being lower than, than the supports on the bottom of the device, which means that when you open that, the sharp edges of that hinge are going to scratch against the, the surface of the desk. Okay, so the Surface Book, it still has a dual core processor. I wish it competed more closely, spec-wise, with the 15-inch MacBook Pro. You see, I was hoping that this event would kind of cement or position the Surface line as such. The Surface Pro, tablet that can replace your laptop type device, would be the answer to the 13-inch MacBook Pro. The Surface Book would compete with the 15-inch MacBook Pro. Now, the Surface Book doubling its GPU power is great, but it was a really underwhelming GPU. So really hoping he was going to say that there was a 10 series GPU in there. A 10 series NVIDIA GPU would have really opened up the Surface Book and what I'm going to say next, the Surface Studio, to a much broader audience. Now, talking about the Surface Studio, the 10 series NVIDIA GPU, I just, I, I have a really hard time getting past that. They should have put that in there. 10 series GPU would have really opened that device up to a much broader audience and not just, not just narrowed the field to only content creators. As far as the Surface Dial, they didn't expound much on it. I mean, it looks like it's just useful for changing the colors and maybe changing what brightness and all that kind of stuff. The keyboard has options for that. You have a media bar for changing your volume and track. Why do I need a $100 dial to make these kind of changes? I just don't see the value in it. Microsoft spent a lot of time telling us and showing us, more importantly, showing us the versatility of their touch bar and all the applications that it can be used for. I really wish Microsoft did the same with their Surface Dial. Now, as much as I really like the Surface Studio, I really hoped for an eGPU dock for the Surface lineup. The Surface brand, as I understood it, was all about versatility and power on the go. So no matter where you are, no matter what content you're trying to create, the Surface branded lineup would help you do that. The Surface Studio doesn't really live up to that as an AIO. You can't just pick it up and walk away with it. It's designed to be on the desk. So what they've really done is fragmented, or I guess gave another option, but in my mind, fragmented that, that ecosystem. So what, why would I have a Surface Pro and a Surface Stu Studio? What they could have done is instead of having all those all, all that hardware in there, they could have had the Surface Studio be a, a monitor that serves as an eGPU dock. And then all you do is you walk up with your Surface device, whether it be the Surface Pro 4 or the Surface Book, you dock it up and now you have the Surface Studio experience. That right there would have been so true to the Surface branding and I think they really missed a great opportunity there. Now, don't forget that this video is all about what I didn't like about the Windows 10 event. If you want to hear what I did like, check out the description for a link to the video where I talk about what I do like. Let me know in the comments below. Do you like this format? What do you think of the event? Did it meet your expectations? Again, comment below, and while you're down there, give this video a like and subscribe for more content coming your way.